We can get a lot of bumped on the overworld map. I saw that bump, Ryu. I saw that bump. Is this record actually impossible? There's no way. There's no way a world record is impossible. We've seen this many times in speedrunning. Every time somebody says a record is impossible, it gets broken. I mean, look at Mario 1, right? But why would a lot of people tell me that this is one of the hardest records to beat? All right, Super Riff Bros, 80%. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right, held by the famous Ryu. Okay, so start with World 1, pretty good. We're gonna make sure we do like kind of a, a fast version of this. See if there's any new strats that I'm not aware of, because I have the 100% world record um, and he has the any percent world record. And uh, I've been told that apparently this is an impossible world record to beat. So we'll take it, what will be the deciding factor. So right away, I could be a little bit faster in this first level. So not impossible, but does anyone here know exactly what makes Kaizo records impossible versus not impossible. There's there's one main thing that doesn't happen in Kaizo speedruns, and that thing is deathless. So if this is deathless, dude, I might I might be beat. Do I want to go for a deathless run? Get deathless, but faster deathless? I don't know. I know I want to take this record because I have the 100%. So. I am gonna go for this, but let's just take a look. His first level was pretty good. Second level so far, looking pretty clean. Ah, I really like this level. This level is so much fun. Oh, he should have died there. He should have died there. Ooh, very nice, very clean. A little fast forward, all right. Okay, so does he do it? Does he go in my 100%? I think I get the wall jump here. I'm not sure, let's take a quick look. Oh, I go for it, but I miss. It would skip all of this swimming right here and this pipe transition and you keep momentum. So it's probably like a five, six, five or six second time save. Pretty cool. All right, let's 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 see if he does it. Let's see if he does it. No, no, you can tell just by that first jump, he goes right into the water. Okay, so, the, so we're already looking at like five or six second time save, but again, none of that matters if you die like if I save all that time and I and I die once, that like that that's awful. So we're gonna have to take a look at look see. Oh, very clean, very clean under that. Very nice into the pipe. Okay. Oh, he waits for the fish there. You can kind of you can you can rush one of those cycles. So not so bad, but again, there's not enough time here so far that would negate a death. It's so far, he hasn't died yet, um, and I'm kind of hoping for that. Okay, not bad. And remember, this is the any percent. So this is this is the any percent. Payment for my MFP hat. Okay. I love this fortress. This is such a good fortress. If there's anyone here who hasn't played this ROM hack. Uh, type it in the comments below because this is a really good hack. And if I see it, I might actually kind of redirect you guys. I might put in the description where you could get this because this one is really fun. This is by the same creator who made uh, the Rift Bros for um, Super Mario World as well. I think his name is Freaking Ha. And I don't, I really hope I don't mess that up, but I think that's what it is. Okay, luckily, hey, when we watch playbacks, we get to fast forward the airships. Luckily, he did a really smart move and he made very fast airships here. Very fast airships. Look at that. It looks so cool. It looks just like an actual ship, not all crazy length. These battles are pretty tough too. I'd watch out for these battles. Can I beat his World 1 so far? I think so. I have done World 1 without dying and there's a couple faster strategies, so it's not secured yet. But he hasn't died. He got a gold. All right, now we're on to world two. I love the fast forwarding here, guys. We can watch, we can get a lot of bumped on the overworld map. I saw that bump, Ryu, I saw that bump. All right, I don't wanna say that's any faster or slower than just bouncing off the turtle, but it works for him, look at that. And he does the big jump right into the water, that's so sick. So there's a strat right here that you can do, okay? So instead of throwing the shell right there, let's take a quick look at the world record in 100% that I have. Yeah, so what you can actually do is when you come through the water section here, um, you can actually grab the shell, okay? And you can hop over the gap where you can see Ryu 
use the shell to pop over the gap, right? And we can see right here, he has to wait for the Goomba and get a precise Goomba jump. But in my run, if you keep the shell, you can do a shell jump, not wait for the Goomba. And it makes it a little bit less stressful. That Goomba jump is pretty tough. So I don't know if that's much of a time save, though. It didn't really look like it, did it? It could be. But it can also not be. Nice, he made it. That's actually a little bit faster than what I do there. Okay, end of the level. Again, this is any percent, so he he's not going to do everything, but he is going to do most. I, I think it's almost everything in this world. There is a Kaizo block there that he was watching out for. That's very, uh, very good to note. Okay. Nice, he does the middle block. Wait for this. This level is really cool. You utilize the micro Goombas right here. Boom. And then they force you to do very small, weird gravity jumps. Isn't that so cool? It's the first ROM hack where I've seen somebody actually utilize like the mechanic of those little guys. It is really cool, I like it. All right, so next level is the water level. This one's really cool too. Every good ROM hack creator puts a good frog suit level in their hack. It just, it just happens. And look at it, it's so cool. Swim around, you gotta throw it, and then you gotta race it, but you gotta activate the thwomp so that, yeah, really cool. Very nice, you get the next block so you can swim on through. This is super cool, yeah, dude, I love that. Love that so much. The hardest part is navigating on these beetles, I think. So he's, this run is really good so far. He has not died and he's got all of his strats. So I'm kind of scared. The Hammer Brother's in a pretty shitty position though. That's a pretty crappy position for the Hammer Brother. And he didn't get the insta-kill. So there's definitely, there's definitely a little bit there. And now this fortress I think is a lot of people's favorite level. Good colors, good ideas too, the concept. A lot of tricksters. Boom. Okay, not bad. Activate that ghost. Yeah, you gotta get that ghost out of your way. That ghost can be really annoying. This is so cool. You get the star and then it activates that once all the enemies are killed, you get a chest. And that, that was such an interesting way to me make a little boss battle. I had never thought of that and I never really seen anyone else think of that. And uh, the, the way you do it is you kind of just set it up like a Hammer Brother battle. So the, you're supposed to use the warp whistle to get out of this world. Very nice, he lost a little bit of time. This is the perfect spot to use the cloud. The cloud, um, for anyone who doesn't know, the cloud in that level is one of the worst levels. I'll show you guys real quick. One of the worst levels in the game, it's this water boss bass. Ugh, look at this nightmare, you gotta jump. It's so long, so it's the perfect level to skip with cloud. When I beat this record, I'm going to make sure that I use a cloud there, but this level is awesome but also very scary if he messes up this level after using the cloud that's a reset so this is i'd say one of the biggest first reset potentials so cool though freaking ha is amazing yep shoot those get that shot there is a little cheese there if you don't get that shot you can actually jump onto the coin slide off if you don't have fire flower and potentially make it to the end but Okay, cool. Everyone's asleep. This level's very cool too. There's not a single level I hate in this hack, I don't think. Ex well, actually, <laughs> I take that back. The level we were just talking about. Okay. Again, he has not died. He has not really made any mistakes. So I'm slowly starting to see why this world record is impossible. Is it? Wow, that big jump right there. Even I don't do that in my 100% world record, which I had to beat him for the 100% world record as well. And I only beat him by a second. Okay. Looks like he has to fight the hammer brother, which is pretty normal. Cause like this is any percent, right? So I'm thinking about as much as I can skip as possible. If there's anything that I can skip. And I think what happened is that, well, it all depends on what item you get from this hammer brother. If you don't need this hammer brother, then the music box he used at the beginning of the world 
was kind of a waste, right? He should have used it to skip the hammer, brother. So let's see. Hopefully it's like a music box or a star. If it's a star, I mean, that's like a... That's a potential over 10 second time save, right? And I'm assuming he's not going to have Fire Flower for the battle. That's going to be good too. Very nice level. This is a great use of the statue. You really don't see many ROM hacks even utilizing the statue as a mechanic. Okay, so let's see what item this is. Come on, be something crappy. He got a good pattern. Ooh, a delay, even bigger time save. Oh, and it's a star. Okay, so that is a big time save right there. At least 10, 10 to 11 seconds. He, he also did that. He got a good pattern, but he did it slow. Let's just go back a little bit to confirm. When he started the world, he used a music box and a, cl and a cloud. That's right, man. We could do that. The impossible world record. Not so impossible now, is it? But we have to remind ourselves there has been no deaths. Even, okay, even if I save this 15 seconds, 13 or whatever, and I die, it's gone. Okay, so another airship, nice, okay. Most of the, air, most of the airships, except for the next world airship, are the same. Right? It's just a small little airship. It's so cool, man. What a great idea. What a great idea. It looks perfect. Get your balls out of my face. Come on. Ooh, he got a pretty bad pattern with the double ball. I don't know what causes... Does anyone know what causes the double ball? I've never known. It happens in Vanilla Mario 3. I just never know why. Okay. So, coming up is my favorite level. I love this first level. So cool. So cool. It's much harder than it looks, too. But it gets pretty easy. It's not that bad. Oh, he almost died there. The head bonk. Is he going to die at the top? Is he going to die on the beetles? You cannot jump through those wooden blocks, either. They're not one way. Nice. Excellent. That was, that was incredible. Nice and clean. I hope to make sure that I, mine are just as clean. Right on. You got in there. Pretty cool. This level I'm not a huge fan of because it's got a couple mechanics that I kind of dislike. Um, and of course you get to use the Goomba shoe, which is really cool. So you grab the shoe, right? You're on a P-switch, so the timer's ticking. You gotta go, you gotta go. And then right here, there's a specific glitch right here. And you can see my mouse right here. The idea of putting the coin here is the signal to the player to, you want to hit this block. Right? You want to jump and get that coin and hit that block. But there's a weird mechanic in Mario 3 where if you hit a block that has turned from a coin to a block because of a P-switch, if you hit it before the P-switch runs out, like a couple frames before it runs out, when you bonk it, it does the up-moving animation. You know how when you hit blocks, uh, when you're small Mario, the block moves up and comes back down but doesn't break? If you do that animation as the P-switch runs out to turn it back into a coin, it won't turn it back into a coin because it's trying to finish that mini animation. So that that's kind of the, you abuse that mechanic here. You're gonna see him, uh, I'll slow it down actually for you guys to get so you can get a good look. I think you'll appreciate that. Right there, you see how he hit it and then it didn't change? I'll show you guys one more time. We'll go back. Boom, so it was in the middle of the animation when the P-switch ran out, so. Yeah, pretty cool. So now you utilize the double jump. When you run off of a ledge with the Goomba shoe, it still has it still allows you to jump. You have not jumped yet. So you can run off a ledge and jump. Boom. As long as you bounce off the ledge. You need to get that bounce off the ledge. Ooh. Come on. I needed him to die in this level. That would have been amazing. If he died in this level, that would have been a big time loss. But he has not died once yet. This is so ridiculous. Okay, you got a lot of pipe traveling. Really cool fortress. I think a lot of people like this fortress. Very nice. He's got the coin, coin activators. Epic, man. What a great use of the hammer suit. I think maybe a couple extra shots. Ooh, he's doing it a little slow right there. Okay. A little bit of a time save there, but not much. Ooh, missed that one piranha plant. Not bad. 
Uh-oh, time's running out. Oh, is he gonna make it? Oh my goodness, he just made that. That's incredible. So you beat that level to get a hammer. So you can break this Brock, th this Brock. Eh, Brock. Yeah, you can break that rock, not lock or Brock. Nice, you do this airship. So this airship is not like the other airships. This is one of the hardest airships. I really hope he takes a death here. That'd be nice. So in the airship, you know what? I don't think he's gonna take a death here because I don't think his run would have him dying here because if you die here, much like the original Mario 3, the airship will fly somewhere else. That's pipe transitions. You gotta go find it. What a nightmare. So as you can see, the airship is going faster, which ultimately means your physics are kind of skewed a little bit. It's almost like you're on ice while you're in the air, if that makes sense. Now, there is a Kaizo block right here in the section that he's looking out for. Very nice, avoids it, and right in the pipe. Made that airship look a lot easier than it actually is. Oh, he's gonna, oh! That was, that was way too close. That was way too close, but he got it, very nice. Okay, so grab the wand, get out of here. We got World 8. So he hasn't died till World 8. I can see why. Okay. This is very, very tight platforming. Most of which where if you don't do what you see here, you will die. That's a tough jump, man. I can't, most of the time, I can't believe these jumps actually work. That's a really cool trick. I love that. The back, the swing back, grab the block. There's a huge difference between creation with this stuff and playing. Well, he didn't die, and I was kind of hoping for that. Why is he better than me? This level's really cool, too. So, again, more knowledge. For anyone who doesn't know, in Mario 3, the power will go in the direction opposite to the side you hit the block on. So, as you can see, Ryu hits the block on the left side. Right there, he hits the block on the left side, which means the power-up is gonna go to the right. If you hit it on the right side, the power-up goes to the left. You'd be surprised at how many people didn't know that that's how it worked, because you have played the game a lot, so you do know about the whole power-up shenanigans. I bet at least one person here watching this video has died from the mushroom going in a way where they didn't think it was gonna go, and then they didn't know why. It happens. Pretty cool level, though. Ooh, the coin trail, and then we got Trolley. Tornado, I hate that tornado, so trolly. Okay, not bad. Nice, we got the next level. Sorry with the little fast forwards, but we, we get through this, right? We got lots to do. Cool, cool use of jumping out of the water, I love it. Now, I know this game very well, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna talk as if there's a lot of you who have not seen this stuff. You're right, I wanna point out that the water part is actually really cool. I'm always thinking it, but I might not say it when I play it. Nice, he made it. So yeah, you need to grab this. Oh, you gotta get peace. He didn't get peace speed. That is actually pretty interesting. That's like a five second time loss right there. Not bad, not bad. So, so far there's a couple little time saves we got. Very nice use. So for anyone wondering, that is the intended way of doing this. You, you grab the shell, right? You get peace speed, you fly, you throw the shell, you let it go past you. You release the Goomba, you bonk up, and you're good to go. However, and I don't know if that's much faster or slower than what I do, but but just to give you guys an example, is I avoid actually grabbing this guy. I kind of just throw him away. Well, I kill him. I, I don't really need to kill him. I can just throw him. But I do um, a, a cheeky little clip here and then a jump. So I just duck under, clip through, jump up, and go in. What do you guys think about that? Should we, should we incorporate that into our any percents, or should we play it safe? and try and make sure that we don't die. What do you guys think? I wanna, I wanna hear, I wanna hear about it. Very nice, he did make it though, and, oh, he got the fanfare, unbelievable. So now he's, he used as a star here, the star he got from the Hammer Brother, and honestly, it looks like it doesn't save that much time. That definitely does not save the amount of time it would take to get the Hammer Brother. Cool use of the star, but definitely don't need to fight that hammer, brother. So I'm actually going to be making sure that I put him to sleep. That is a juicy time save. And I'm probably gonna use Ryukar's splits just to get a good idea of how much time that actually saved. So, and this level is very fun. 
I'd say this is the, probably the most fun level. It's got that, it just feels so Kaizo. It's got such a massive Kaizo feel to it. Reminds me of like old, some old Mario Maker 1 levels from 2015. You guys remember those levels. Nice, you get the hammer for beating the fortress. Okay, use the hammer to come up through and then Bowser. So this is the any percent, you need Fire Flower to fight Bowser. He's got his Bowser fight. If he takes damage, he can't do it. He can't do it at all if he takes damage, which looks like he's doing pretty good. He's on the left side though, that's pretty risky. And that's it. Not impossible, but I can see why. Now I see. Not a single death until the very end of the run. Are you kidding me? I have to do deathless until the end? So I have the most stressful Bowser battle ever. As long as I don't die on Bowser, I could save time, right? I assume he's not gonna die here. Maybe he has two deaths, I don't know. Looking, looking pretty clean, but where's he gonna go right here? Oh shit, two deaths, so that's like, Okay, let's take a quick look. So the first death right here, he was definitely going to do sub 20. He was definitely going to do sub 20. Look at this. So Bowser was almost going to be dead. He probably would have finished at about nine. I want to say like 950, 95 X, right? And he did, doesn't finish until right here. Look at that right there. So is that, is that like a minute? A minute to save at the end of the run, but it's so hard to get here without dying. Are you kidding me? Maybe this is why he didn't continue grinding this. Damn. Impossible? Definitely not. One of the hardest world records I'm probably gonna have to try and beat. I would definitely say yes. I mean, the hardest part in Kaizo's is making it to the end of the game without dying. I mean, that's the hardest part. And unfortunately, Ryu did it, but he died and lost almost a minute at the end. So any speed run with a minute time save is definitely claimable. But I also remember in Grand Pool World 2, like I'd never made it to Bowser without dying. I don't even think in Rift Bros I've ever made it, but you're going down. We're, you're going down, Ryu, we're good. This is exciting. I, I like the challenge of a new record. Um, this is gonna be very exciting. It's gonna be a fun grind. I'm gonna have to do a lot of practice, but we are going to take this record, the Any% percent Rift Bros. Very excited for this. So keep your eyes peeled for the YouTube upload of the world record. I might stream some attempts. I haven't been streaming much lately. been worrying about my YouTube and stuff, but hope to see you guys there. And everyone take it easy and have good holidays. Woo!